welcome to my vlog today. I'm going to tell you about how you can meditate easily at home. You know, so it's kind of like my fear of talking about it. But now I feel like the world is more open-minded nowadays because I don't want everyone else's to think of me like, you know, are you trying to brainwash me or something like that? You maybe I can shout it out to other people who are struggling of how to do the correct way of meditation because I do have a very strong belief that meditation can give you a lot of good things like you feel more fresh, you feel like your mind is more cleared, you have more focus and it's a very good start for the morning you know before you exercise or after you exercise and I think it's release a lot of good energy out of you and also like um, it's kind of very relaxing and delete out all your anxiety just for some minutes for those who are new beginners for how to do the meditation i know that it can be hard for you especially if you're not a very young starter because when you're young everything is so easy because you don't think too much but when you are getting like more into working or like business or you know your health conditions and everything all around it can be hard but today hopefully the some suggestions that I have for you can help you a little bit okay I'm not gonna talk too much about it because I think if you watching this you should be uh, someone that already interested in how to meditate and maybe you have already did some research about why meditation is good for you. First of all, before you meditate, you need to really find your comfortable room or comfort zone, like where you would feel so much more comfortable. You don't have to have a room for meditation at the beginning stage. And, um, just really, it's something that you can practice everywhere, everywhere, every action that you do. Before going to bed or after you wake up or, you, you know, on in the car or on the road somewhere traveling. And, um, well, you can even do it on the chair or on the bed. It's not compulsory that you have to sit cross legs all the time. But today, the position that I'm going to teach you is the sitting down, you know, a proper way of doing it. And if you find that it's really difficult for you to sit down on the hard floor, you can find some uh, cloth, like I'll show some cloth, like a yoga mat or a cloth, you know, like this on the floor so it saves your knees. Or, you, I don't know if you have it in your country, but there's a chair, you know, that it's got two levels, like one is flat on the ground and one is like slightly, maybe one and a half inches, two inches above the ground and it's got a backrest, okay? So, or if you can find another cushion to to sit on, you know, it, it might make you feel more comfortable. So first of all, what do we do? This is simple for me because I have been practicing for so long, since I was very young, since my bones were still very soft and you know cushy and but now it can be very difficult for uh, some adults or uh, some new beginners but anyway the common practice way would be sitting across the legs right you might find it um, I mean I can sit cross leg like this but I don't feel comfortable with both of my foot I mean both of my feet are under each other and I get numb and my legs went to sleep very easily so what I do is um, you have two legs right of course you have two legs sorry uh, okay so I would put my left leg on the ground <laughs> this is so weird I've never teach people how to do meditation like online before okay so I put your left leg on the ground and then you have your right legs up here well I'm a right-handed person anyway so I will put my right legs, like put it on top of my left leg and then I have my left hand on here, you know, 
right in the middle and my right hand right on here and what I would do is maybe my hands are very small too so maybe it's quite difficult for you to see but I would put my uh, left hand thumb and my right hand what is this one index finger like together like this and I put it on here but because of this chair or like something that's you know you can sit on it uh, it makes your back straight automatically so so you have it like this and then your, your back would be something like uh, like this you know like straight up automatically okay here we go and then after you have this kind of position First of all, you need to start practice breathing. Well, we are breathing anyway, but take a deep breath. It's not gonna be this loud in the meditation room or in the meditation camp if you go. And then you close your eyes softly. Don't tense. Don't ever tense. Just gently close your eyes downwards as if you're looking down at something and then don't squeeze your eyes yeah it's actually relaxing don't squeeze your eyes don't squeeze your eyebrows take a deep breath be with yourself as if you're looking down at yourself and imagine and thinking that yourself is just an empty body that has nothing inside you no guts no nothing just very empty and hollow and then I know it might be hard for some of you to not to think but that is the key that is the key of meditation. It, it is helping you to stop thinking. Stop thinking of whatever that making, making you sad or happy or, or anything because you just need to stay still when you meditate. And you just keep looking down to you. At the beginning, it can be dark. But if you heard of the word, I like the sentence when they call it um, darkness be my friend. Just let it be your friend. Stay with the darkness for a while. Stay focused. Find a point. Maybe two fingers above your, um, your belly button. Find that point. Breathe deep into it. Think of something clear and pure, like water, like a crystal. Think of it. Continue breathing deeply. Try to leave all your sadness and your work behind a little bit for a while. Leave it behind you, put it aside. This is the moment that I would like you to embrace yourself, encourage yourself, and be happy with yourself with how much value value you have in you. You're born into this world for a reason. Success in life is not that far to achieve. You just need to find a way to get there. And just keep doing this. This is just for the beginner. So before you finish with your meditation, actually in Buddhism way, uh, that would be like a praying or like sometimes you would wish 
before you open your eyes but this is not a wishing just for yourself but it's wishing for the whole world like we would wishing to forgive your friends or any animals or any living creatures in the world and giving the love sharing the care and but in each and everyday life I would have to say that you can think of something good that you can do for the world before you open your eyes before you start your new days or ending your new when I get so lazy I wouldn't get into the uh, cross leg positions I would just sit on the chair and just close my eyes and meditate or even before I go to bed before I go to sleep I can just lie down on my bed close my eyes and meditate before I go to bed so I think it's something that you can practice everywhere that you go and that's it so that is so easy for the starter